If you're wondering if you should move to Edmonton, well, here are the top nine things why you shouldn't move to Edmonton. Stay tuned. What's up, everyone? This is Eric Yip. I'm a local real estate agent, and I make a lot of videos about eating, sleeping, playing, different neighborhoods, restaurants, shopping, everything and anything you can think of. So if you like this video, make sure you smash that like button because it really helps me out. Also, please subscribe. This way, when I make new videos, you won't miss out. Anyways, let's get right to it. By the way, I also have a lot of people that move to Edmonton and they reach out to me because my videos, I have so many people calling and I absolutely love it, guys. I love helping my clients. I love helping them find a neighborhood that suits their lifestyle, that suits, that's right for, for them and their family. So if you're ever moving to Edmonton, make sure you text me, phone me right below. Uh, you can email, even email me. If you really want to snail mail me, you can, or even fax me if you really, really wanted to. Anyways, so the first thing is, the number one reason why you shouldn't move to Edmonton is, it is just so darn cold here. It's so cold uh, during winter time, and plus it's so long here. Our winters are very, very dry because we're not by the ocean, and your skin, I don't know if you can see it here. Oh, it gets dry and it's terrible. So you definitely need to get some moisturizers if you want to maintain your skin, a healthy skin. I don't always use it. Maybe I should start using it. Seth, second thing you really need to know is crime has definitely risen in the last couple of years. And I think it's also might be because of the fact that our population has grown. And when it comes to the, the crime, nobody likes crime. And unfortunately, it, it has gone up. Majority of the time, I, I'm going to say that it might be gang affiliated, uh, whether it's a stabbing. Uh, sometimes we do have gun violence here. Not very often, uh, but I have heard it on the news. Number three, if you love the ocean and you miss the ocean, Edmonton's not the place for you guys. We are very, very far from the ocean. So if you love surfing, you love sailing, you love kayaking and all that on the ocean, we are not by the ocean. So because of that, we don't have as much seafood compared to some of our uh, provinces in the west, like Vancouver, where they're by the ocean and they do have a lot of yummy seafood. Here we don't, but we do have Alberta beef. Number four. Our drivers here are quite terrible. Not everyone, but there are drivers that don't always pay attention. Summertime, some drivers either drive too fast, they've got a heavy foot, or sometimes they drive way too slow, and sometimes when you're not following the traffic, yes, it can be more dangerous. Also, there are some people that when they back out, or they're merging on to oncoming traffic, they feel like if they just go, people will slow down for them. Sorry guys, if, if they're going too fast and you just come out right in front of them, how can they? It's just terrible. Which leads me to number five. Because of the horrendous drivers in Edmonton, our insurance, car insurance is very, very high compared to some of the other provinces because people love speeding here. And of course, when there's more collision claims, insurance, especially car insurance, automatically goes up, unfortunately. Number six, that leads me to the next thing, which is photo radar. Yes, we have so many of them here. There's speed and photo radar. 
Then you have some of the uh, trucks where they have a photo radar. They're hiding right above the bridge. When you're not noticing and you're driving by and you're going that 10 kilometers or 20 kilometers over the speed limit, they that's where they tag you. Also, the other thing you need to know is there are unmarked vehicles. They don't just have cars. They come in the form of SUVs, as well as trucks and sometimes minivans. So without even knowing, you could be speeding by a police and guess what? Sirens come on. You're looking behind. You're like, oh, no. Never mind just the speed ticket. You got to pay for that. You will lose demerits also. So that sucks. Number seven. If you're coming from a small town, our population's over a million now. And yes, I have spoken to and met some clients where they came from a smaller town and they absolutely hate it here because it's just too big for them. They're not used to, and, and they, act, they actually call Edmonton a big city. It's not really that big. Well, it's kind of big. Okay, all right, it's big. Number eight. If you're coming from a big city, like Toronto, this is very small here. And I have had clients where they compare the two and they go, you know what, Edmonton is so slow here. It's not as vibrant. There's not as much to do compared to a big city. So you need to definitely adjust depending on where you're coming from. And last but not least, our road conditions. They are terrible. In the winter time, when it freezes here, and summertime, it heats up and it, 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 it gets cold, thaws, freezes, thaws. We have a lot of potholes. They are so terrible. They damage your vehicles if you drive over them, your vehicles, your, the wheel well, everything. It is just so bad for our vehicles. So there you go, guys. There's the nine things why you shouldn't move to Edmonton. If you like this video, again, please smash that like button and please subscribe. All right, until next time, guys, have an awesome one.